The Empire's on the run. So the Empire's throwing a fit, overthrowing the country. GCN Radio Network. Obama is now crapping in the punch bowl publicly. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. No weapons of mass destruction were found. Are you kidding me? Do you buy that? There were, there were, there were. Nye, 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 nye. I was five and he was six. We rode on horses made of sticks. He wore black and I wore white. Come on, let us shoot. He would always Blair. Blair. Bang, 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 bang. Hey, uh, I need to get the rat. The main reason we went into Iraq at the time was we thought he had weapons of mass destruction. It turns out he didn't, but he had the capacity to make weapons of mass destruction. But I also talked about the human suffering in Iraq. Hello, boys and girls. I have a special message for you from the President of the United States. I salute the boys and girls who are buying United States savings stamps and bonds, and they're giving important support to the cause of freedom and the men who fight for us in Vietnam. Congress gave us this authority in August 1964 to do whatever may be necessary. That's pretty far-reaching. That's the sky's the limit. As an American citizen, you have to respect our president, whether I like it or not. It's really my, not my decision, but I do respect my president, and I will support whatever decision he makes. Music played and people sang Just for me, the church bells rang It is a hard fact that U.S. strikes have resulted in civilian casualties. Now he's gone, I don't know why, and 
Till this day sometimes I cry He didn't even say goodbye He didn't take the time to lie The United States knows that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction one of the first things they told me was, you're not even to acknowledge the drone program. You're not even to discuss that it exists. Renewed hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. That reply is being given. Crashing through the lies and disinformation. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We are joined by Valerie DeRazio, who's a very successful illustrator, writer, blogger, worked for DC, IDW, MTV, uh, Valiant, Moonstone, Blue Water. Her comics include Beyond Edward Snowden's Punisher, Max, Butterfly, X Men Origins, Emmy Frost, and a lot more. She's been interviewed by CNN, MSNBC, Reuters. I won't go over the whole deal. Everything from New York Daily News to uh, Mother Jones. Her Skype just dropped. We're getting her back on. But the reason I like to have artists and activists on is we had a lady on last hour for 30 minutes who's the food babe and who is never had PR training, we just learned, and is doing effective things to make them take plastic out of bread, at, at, at fast food chains that causes all sorts of problems to make them take chemicals out of beer, <clears throat> you name it. Well, what happens when the artist, successful people, like the actor we had on in the first hour being persecuted by Homeland Security, um, Telly Blackwood, he's going journalist full-time. And, I mean, he's been a top wrestler, you know, big wrestler, big, big, big movies, you name it. He's just, he's just for his family. He's just for his son. He's just not going to do that anymore. He's going to become a journalist full-time and fight to me. He doesn't care about making money. See, that's when the New World Order loses, folks, and that's why they want to censor us now. <clears throat> We're going to go to Valerie as soon as she reconnects. I haven't plugged this since it came out two days ago. I should. We sell them at cost in bulk at InfoWarsStore.com. Death of the Internet. We now have the latest global edition, June 2014, of the magazine death of the internet it is here it is available and you can buy them in groups of up to 10 to 100 and people pay attention to print because stuff's going out of print now it's like a big color book you can buy for a dollar a piece you hand them out to friends and family it's full of the plan to kill the internet uncovered and the 10 ways they're doing it it gets in in article after article so that people can understand with all the great graphics, I mean, this is a world-class magazine, and it gets into who's really spying, how it's working, it's got comics in it, uh, you name it. It just covers so many important issues, how the FCC is moving to take over talk radio and the Internet and digital print, all of it. Powerful health information. It's available at InfoWarsStore.com. We're going to Valerie DeRazio. We just got her back here in a moment. Finally, this hour is brought to you by the great folks at MyPatriotSupply.com. You go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex to find their really big specials of the week and of the day and a lot of other great preparedness items. It's non-GMO, high quality. It's the choice I use for my and my family. Eight, eight, you can call them 866-229-0927, 866-229-0927. Supply, great customer service. Great patriots. FEMA tried to buy up all the food they had last year. They said no and went public when other food producers didn't and didn't tell the public. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. With all the crazy stuff going on in the world, storable food is key. Well, we're joined by Valerie, and we'll put her website up on screen and give that out to folks. But, uh, again, she's um, done a lot of big comics, uh, you name it, X-Men, you name it, for DC and others. And she's now getting openly pro-liberty with a new comic book, an illustrated novel, I guess you could call it, is what it looks like to me, on Edward Snowden. And I'm told that I even, a minute, I'll have to get a copy of that. Oh, my son loves comic books, and so do my daughters. And so thank you so much for coming on, and uh, tell us about your political views on this, where you're going, and uh, who you're publishing this through. And uh, Absolutely. 
Thank you so much for having me on. This is this is fantastic being here. Um, basically, uh, I believe in. Um, you know, the American public, you know, knowing what information gets uh, gathered about them online and being aware and being informed and active. Um, and that's what drew me to the uh, the Edward Snowden um, project. And uh, also he was apparently a big uh, cartoon and video game and comic book fan himself. So that was sort of another reason I felt like a kind of in touch with the person. and. Um, I just uh, approached Blue Water Productions uh, with this idea for a comic book series about this and other current events topics, and we just took it from there. Wow. And uh, tell us about Blue Water, because in this world of universal deceit, telling the truth, a revolutionary act, I'd love to see DC or somebody do this. This is how we win the culture war for liberty and restore the republic. But Blue Water is pretty big as well, though they're more independent. Uh, how'd you get them to publish this? Um, literally, I just came up with the idea. Um, I've always been interested in, I guess, what the mainstream media calls, quote unquote, conspiracy theories, but rather like, you know, alternative news. And um, I always, you know, love comic books and I wanted to put them together as uh, one project. And I just um, called Blue Water and they just kind of immediately bought the project and, you know, enthusiastically put it out. I'm pleased as punch and I'd love to do more. Now, again, for folks who don't understand, the system is trying to suppress writers, graphic people, you name it, from promoting uh, just any form of basic liberty. If if this is a successful publication, it's already been, I don't know how Time Magazine promoted it, Drudge Link yeah. to it, but I expect Drudge Link to it. I, I mean, it's why do you think Time Magazine uh, would uh, feature something like this? Or does it show how mainstream it's gone to be angry at the NSA? I think Edward Snowden and, and this whole story is just a story that everybody's completely fascinated with. And I think people, like the media and people are also really fascinated with comic books right now. So it seemed to be the perfect project that uh, all the mainstream media seem to glom onto and want to talk about. I I've, uh, haven't gotten an actual copy of it yet. Uh, tell me, is it already out or is it coming out? It is a, it's a, it's a out um, available on all digital formats as an ebook. Um, Amazon Nook uh, Kindle, if you go to my website, ValerieDeRossio.com, uh, it gives you full instructions and links and where to get it. You can also order a print comic at ComicFleamarket.com. Well, it's really exciting what you're doing. Describe uh, basically. Uh, from what I've seen, it looks like the comic is basically a narrative for people that wouldn't normally be informed about Snowden, kind of non-news readers to a great extent, I would say, at least some people that read comic books, and, and kind of tailored to an adult, but also a younger audience. Yes. Um, you know, I, I originally approached the project just to do sort of a straight educational comic book um, without like, an opinion one way or another about him. But as I uh, got further into it, it became more... Um, you know, like his story is so dramatic, it became more of like a real comic book story full of twists and turns. And um, well, reality is the ultimate adventure. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. And sometimes reality is stranger than fiction. And I think that's absolutely the case with Snowden. Um, and I, there's a lot of unanswered questions, I think, about him that I address in this book and bring up. Um, and yeah, but, and I just want to sort of communicate that and also communicate to the American public, you know, how the NSA was using this information. Like I have one page in the book that explains it in a humorous way, how their information would have been accessed through this program. And uh, comic books are just a wonderful way to communicate and educate the public. By the way, you know, it's in mainstream news today all over the place that indeed NSA workers, including at home, were charged with listening to all these public figures and, and media people. I mean, that they are listening to, to prominent yeah. people. They they do listen to my phone. They uh, and and they, I don't doubt it. they do record pretty much everything. And they got caught lying about it. And now they're basically trying to say you're a terrorist if you think the government's out of control. I mean, how much more crazy do you think this is going to get before we turn the corner? Well, I mean, even not, not even just the uh, the NSA, like um, eavesdropping. I mean, just like you know, people who have alternative viewpoints. I mean, they're you know, they're getting more and more sort of blamed for stuff, and people are suggesting people who believe in chemtrails and you know cl climate change issues, like denying.